Race fans, our fourth race of the afternoon, the 2015 McGill Energy Performance CRA Fall Brawl. We're going to ask you to do this one more time after this. But in the meantime, everybody stand up. Everybody get up. Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. It is wave lap time for the fourth time. This time, the headliners of the McGill Energy Performance CRA Fall Brawl. This is the ARCA CRA Super Series powered by Jigs. The Edco Welding and Hydraulics 100 presented by Quartermaster. Grant Quinlan in the 28 car. Starting deep in the field. So is his closest point challenger, Eddie Van Meter. Really a, a line side by side back there right now. They will start 15th and 16th in today's race. Van Meter on the inside lane. Quinlan on the outside. They are our top two in the standings. They did not have good qualifying efforts yesterday, but they are racers that can get to the front. And cars 23 and 28, so we'll keep our eyes on those two, our top two in the standings, coming down to the final two races. And Quinlan led a whole bunch of laps in a Circle City 100 back on July 24th here at Lucas Oil Raceway. So unfortunately for Quinlan, starting back in 16th, he's got a long way to go, but plenty of time to get there. 100 laps, the ARCA CRA Super Series, powered by Jegs. The final race before the 44th running of the Winchester 400 coming up two weeks from today. Lights are off in the Coughlin Cars. Dot-com pace car is in the hands of a couple of Great Lake State drivers. The 42 of Chad Finley, the 47 of Brian Campbell to lead this field around. The Coughlin Cars pace car drops to pit road in turn three. Chad Finley, the 42. Brian Campbell, the 47. Cody Coughlin, the number one, and Boris Yurkovic, the 53, and our top two qualifiers in row three with Schaefer and Rocha. Green flag coming off of turn four. Cars picking up the pace. Green is out. Finley a little bobble, and Campbell goes into the lead. Finley off the pace almost immediately in the 42 machine. And the field now starting to sort itself out. As Campbell out in front of the 47, Coughlin to second, Finley back to third already, and caution flag will fly. So yellow flag is out. Look out as the cars stack up a little bit on the front stretch. Everybody able to get woed down in time. It will be a complete restart. Not liking the start, so it will be a complete restart. You don't see them too often, but this one, was not liked, and Chad Finley is dropping down to pit road. Chad Finley, the DeWitt, Michigan driver, pull sitter in this race, is coming to the pits. Tough break for Finley in the 42 as he pulls onto pit road. And Finley already out of the car in the 42 machine. You can see him walking away there towards turn number four. Obviously, very dejected. Tough break for the 23 year old driver from DeWitt, Michigan. Coglin Cars pace car making its way away from the field. As Jake Crum going to come back out, catch up to the tail. And we're ready for green. Coming off of turn four, Coughlin now on the inside of Brian Campbell. Cody Coughlin in the one, Brian Campbell in the 47, lead him on the turns three and four. Chiefs are Scott Mellon, the green flag in hand, and we're back underway here in the Arca CRA Super Series. Oh, Coughlin goes up the banking a little bit, entering turn one, maybe adjust the momentum of Campbell, checks up. He drops in line in second. Looked like the two were going to get together. Behind him, nearly trouble back in the field with our top two in points. Van Meter checked up. Quinlan had to jump on the binders, and it's dicey throughout the field, coming to complete lap one. Cody Coughlin leads lap one of the number one machine, but Brian Campbell right to the inside, the number 47. Side by side, but Coughlin all kinds of momentum on the high side. Keeps the top spot. Campbell to second. Borscher Kovic in third in the 53. Paul Schaefer Jr. is fourth. And Blaine Rocha rounding out the top five. This is a good track for Cody Coughlin. We've seen him have a good run in the past. I think finished second to Dominic Van Wearing in there a couple of years ago. Had a good run there. Uh, both cars were outstanding. I think he was really good early. Van Wearing got him in the second half of the race. Right now, 
Cody Coughlin leads Brian Campbell two car breakaway from the 53 of Boris Yurkovic. Yurkovic on the high side as Paul Schaefer Jr. to the bottom. To try to claim that final podium position in third, Yurkovic. In third, Schaefer, Rocha, and Dominique Van Weerigen in the number five machine. She started in 10th. She is already up to sixth as she just gets by Allie Kern in the number four. And for the lead, Campbell showing muscle early. Coughlin fights back middle of three and four at the line. Brian Campbell with the lead, leading on lap number four. Goes all the way to the bottom, down by the apron. Going to lose a little bit of ground to Coughlin coming off of two. Cody Coughlin back out front. Campbell still showing some pretty good strength. Able to use that inside lane this early in the race. That car should be good later. Five laps in, our third lead change already. Cody Coughlin, your race leader one more time. Brian Campbell second, Boris Yurkovic third. Balance for four between the 21 of Blaine Rocha, your Ed Co. Welding fast qualifier, Paul Schaefer Jr. to seven, and Dominic Van Weerigen showing some muscle early in the number five machine, already advancing four spots. She's looking to challenge Rocha. And she's going to try to thread the needle, making a move down in turn number four, and that opening closes up. She's able to clear the Portage, Indiana driver and Paul Schaefer Jr. Van Weeringen, very strong. The Durabite Incorporated number five of Dominic Van Weeringen, very good here in the past. And right now she looks like one of the top competitors in this race. Seven laps completed this time. Cody Coughlin, your leader, Brian Campbell, all over the Jags.com Toyota for that top spot. Blaine Rocha, your Ed co welding fast qualifier, showing some muscle as well. He looks to the inside of Boris Shurkovic. Here comes Dominic Van Weeringen in the five. Van Weeringen just looking for a place to go. She found one a little while ago when she was putting it through the middle. And right now she might try it again, though. She goes back to the bottom in turn number four. Yurkovic's car not probably to his liking early on as Van Weeringen's going to be able to get by Boris Yurkovic. She moves up into the four spot back to fifth. Yurkovic running six. Schaefer seven spot to Kern. And Mark Lambert running eighth. Back in the field, the 15 of Corey Deucer running the ninth spot. Hunter Bays in the 13th, started in 13th. He is up the 10th, and he'll challenge Deucer for that ninth position right behind them. Terry Fisher Jr. won the CRA Late Model Sportsman portion of the CRA Fall Brawl about a little over two hours ago. He's behind the back bumper to 13 of Hunter Bays. Single file formation up front, looking outside the top 10. First battle in turn three. It's going to be Jeff Cannon to the inside of Spencer Davis. Also coming down the front stretch now, Ali Kern making a move on Boris Yurkovic. Up front, Cody Coughlin, your leader, but Brian Campbell just content with following the tire tracks. The Jags.com Toyota. Campbell in second spot. Edco welding fast qualifier. Blaine Rocha has been very impressive so far this weekend. Third spot in the number 21 machine. He started in sixth. Dominique Van Weer again is fourth spot in the number five. She started in 10th. And Paul Schaefer Jr. rounds at the top five as he got by Yurkovic. And now Ali Kern to the inside of Yurkovic for sixth. Some quick cars coming forward. And those top two are going to have some other challengers in a very short amount of time. Campbell might want to get around the one car if he gets the opportunity. That's what it looks like he's trying to do on the low side of Cody Coughlin in turn two. 12 laps in the books, 88 to go early on in this Edco Welding and Hydraulics 100 presented by Quartermaster and Brian Campbell. Can he clear the one of Coughlin coming down the front stretch? I think he'll have the lead at the line and he does clear the one of Cody Coughlin entering turn number one. Coughlin still fighting back. And Campbell clears him again. If he can close the door, that would. Oh, Campbell checked up a little bit on the bottom. Thought something happened for a moment, Matt. And Cody that allowed Cody Coughlin to reel back in Campbell as they go through turns three and four. Coughlin staying on the high side. This time in, 14 laps completed, 86 laps to go. Coughlin is there. And those two need to decide something quick because here comes Blaine Rocha on the 21. Rocha's car was fast in practice, fast in qualifying, and it looks like it's going to be fast here in the race. He started sixth. He's in third. And he has caught the top two, and it's going to be a three-car battle, the three podium spots up for grabs, front of the field. We look back to about seventh. Allie Kern in the four running in seventh. Not anymore. Mark Lambert, former CRA late model sportsman champion up into the seventh position. 
up front. Brian Campbell has gotten away from Cody Coughlin, and Coughlin now has got a back bumper full of Blaine Rocha on the 21 machine. Rocha, very impressive in his ARCA CRA Super Series debut. Wastes no time. Goes to the inside of Coughlin. Four second Rocha from California inside on the outside. The one of Cody Coughlin. Brian Campbell has been able to show how strong that 47 car is, though, by pulling out ahead. And he'll let those two battle it out. Hope that they use up their stuff back behind him. 17 laps completed, 83 laps to go. It is Brian Campbell, your leader in the 47. Battle for a second continues between the one of Cody Coughlin, the 121 of Blaine Rocha, the five of Dominique Van Weeringen is closing the gap on your second and third place cars. No doubt she is strong. Schaefer running a nice race right now in the fifth spot. Yurkovic struggling in sixth. And Ali Kern and Mark Lambert, they're racing again for seventh and eighth. Kern and Lambert battle side by side. It is a good battle. Four position for seventh, a seventh and eighth between Kern and Lambert. Hunter Bays now up to ninth, and Terry Seneker Jr. makes his first appearance in the top 10 in the number 36. For the second spot, coming off of turn number four at the line. Give it to Rocha. Rocha up to second. But that might be short lived if Coughlin can get a good run coming off of two. He will. Gets on the Go pedal a little bit harder than Rocha does. Pulls back out ahead, entering turn three. The battle continues for the runner-up spot. Meanwhile, Brian Campbell could be saving it a little bit up front. He's pulling away from those two while they're battling it out, using up their equipment, trying to get by one another, trying to stay ahead as Coughlin, trying to get by as Rocha. And Campbell so strong at these flat tracks, handling tracks in Columbus, Berlin, Lucas Oil Raceway, and right now Campbell is the leader and Coughlin's been able to clear the 21 of Rocha and that's going to benefit Brian Campbell. The more that Coughlin can stay ahead Rocha, the better off he is. Without a doubt as Campbell now with almost a two and a half second lead over your second place driver, the one of Cody Coughlin. Blaine Rocha still third, the number 21 machine. Dominique Van Werrigan, strong run for her so far. She's in the fourth position. Paul Schaefer Jr., good run for him as well. Rounding out the top five, 22 laps completed. And Rocha back to the inside, coming off of turn four, completion of lap number 22. Rocha for second, gonna lose some momentum here. He went up the track, had to check up, entering turn two. Coughlin, the Jags.com number one, staying ahead by just a nose as they enter turn three. That second place battle continues. Coughlin on the high side, Rocha on the inside, Blaine Rocha has been stellar all weekend long in his ARCA CRA Super Series debut. The Oakdale, California driver, just 17 years old. That number 21 machine duking it out with 19-year-old Cody Coughlin. And Brian Campbell says, let the teenagers continue to do what they got to do. I'm going to stay out here in front. And he probably, if I know Brian Campbell, isn't using up everything that that car has. He's probably cruising to a degree, not overdriving the car. Even though he's probably laying down the best laps of the race right now, that car always quick here at Lucas Oil and right now has put over a half a straightaway on Cody Coughlin and Blaine Rocha. A quarter of the way through the Edco Welding and Hydraulics 100 presented by Quartermaster. 25 laps completed, 75 laps to go. It is the 47 of Brian Campbell, your leader, riding second, the one of Cody Coughlin, third, the 21 of Blaine Rocha, fourth spot to the five of Dominique Van Weerigen, and the number seven, Paul Schaefer Jr., rounding out the top five. And again, cannot be hurting Brian Campbell that Rocha has to continue to go to the inside, trying to make that move past Coughlin. He's having to put a lot of wheel into the car to keep it a little bit tighter to the bottom to get underneath Coughlin and to stay off of him, working hard, trying to keep his momentum up as much as possible. So far, has been unable to make the move. Coughlin hanging on to second, Rocha in third, Van Weeringen not really running him down now. She's just kind of running her own race in fourth. Schaefer doing the same in fifth. Yurkovic settled into sixth. Lambert, Kern, they're still running nearly side by side in seventh and eighth. Ninth, running better today than he qualified. The 36 of Seneca, he's picked up about nine spots and rounding out the top 10, the 13 of Hunter Bays. Grant Quinlan, your overall and rookie of the year points leader. Started in 16th, he is up to 11th with Terry Fisher Jr. in 12th in the 81. 
Corey Deucer, Sabal about the 13th. In the, in the 15, Jeff Cannon is 14th. In the 33, in the 129, a Spencer Davis rounding out your top 15 as Campbell now in traffic. You wonder if Spencer Davis has run at many racetracks just like Lucas Oil. He's so good on the bank tracks that we've seen him race at, whether it be Pensacola or Five Flags Trouble, turn number four, caution flag is out. Second yellow of the race, first one in 29 laps. First one came on the opening start for a failed start. It's for car number three. So the 33 spinning out. So the 33 of Griffith spinning down in turn number four, bringing out the caution. Wes Griffith Jr., fourth place in Super Series points, but spinning in turn number four, bringing out our second yellow, but our first one since the opening start was taken away. It's going to bunch up our field and take away that big lead that Brian Campbell, the Wyoming, Michigan driver, had built up. What I see so far, 47-21. Those are the two cars to beat at this point. Green flag, ready to wave. Turn four, it does. Campbell's going to go back out into the lead. This is a spot where Roach is going to get hurt because he was on the inside lane. Going to make maybe some slight contact with Van Wieringen. Down in one, Roach are going to lose his spot. Back to fourth, maybe another. Here comes Jurkovic to the outside. Roach is going to give him room. Heading to three. Dominic Van Wieringen in the third. The number five machine and Boris Jurkovic, as you mentioned, Adam, trying to get by Blaine Roach on the number 21 machine. They're side by side down the front stretch. They head into turns one and two, and Dominic Van Wergen is satisfied with third. She just go well, going after Cody Coughlin. That car really rotated well in the bottom groove, down the back stretch, close, and closes the door on Coughlin, says this lane's mine. Dominic Van Wergen up to the second spot, the number five machine. She's going to set her sights on Brian Campbell. That car was strong, didn't want to give a chance for Coughlin to make another run back to the outside, so she closed the door and actually closing quickly on Brian Campbell up front. On that long green flag run early on, it looked like she kind of stagnated a little bit when she was running in the four spot, but right now is strong again on the short run early on. Single file up front, top five, six, seven, and about eight spot where the 18 of Mark Lambert runs. Lambert runs the outside and has a challenge coming from Seneca up ahead. It's the four of Kern and the 53 of Yurkovic. Lambert's got a challenge not only from Terry Seneca Jr., but the top two rookies in the Arca CRA Super Series. Grant Quinlan, the number 28 machine, also the 13 of Hunter Bays. As Quinlan and Bays, the top two rookies in the Arca CRA Super Series, battling for that final spot in the top 10. Nose to tail for third. That's going to be one of our Battles coming up shortly where Roach is still going to try to get around that one of Coughlin. Not so sure that that would benefit him if we get another caution because then it's going to put him back down in third again. And on that inside lane for a restart, fourth is a pretty good place to be for restarts here at Lucas Oil Raceway. But it is single file up front. Going to see lap 40 this time. Will be 40 laps complete, 60 laps to go. Keep your eyes back on the 18 of Lambert in eighth. Seneca in ninth, Quinlan up to 10th, Hunter Bays running 11th. It's getting dicey coming off of four. Bays to the inside of Quinlan, a little bobble coming out of turn number four by Hunter Bays. As he tries to work by fellow rookie Grant Quinlan, Terry Seneca Jr. to 36. He's surrounded by three rookies going down the backstretch. Lambert in the 18, rim riding. Taken up right along the outside retaining wall. He goes any higher. He's going to be in the parking lot. The 36 of Seneca on the inside pulls up, gets up to the door. Coming down the front straightaway. Also watching ahead for the third position. Rocha challenging Cody Coughlin. And just like we saw in that last longer green flag run, Campbell showing strength. Again, Van Wieringen falling back a little bit. As you mentioned also earlier, Campbell probably not going 100% right now. That Merritt Speedway Ford, Wyoming, Michigan driver Brian Campbell out in front. Dominic Van Wieringen has been strong so far. Started 10th, worked her, was worked her way up to the second spot. Has some real estate to make up to catch Campbell, but we're not even halfway yet. This time, 43% of the Edco Welding and Hydraulics 100 presented by Quartermaster Complete. Point leader. 
Grant Quinlan car number 28 dropping to the inside of Mark Lambert. That's a battle right now for the ninth position. Quinlan started today 16th picking up seven spots so far. Another good battle going on ahead of them. The 53 of Boris Shirkovic, the four of Ali Kern. They've been going at it side by side a number of laps. The battle for third just became a trio with Cody Coffin trying to hold off Blaine Rocha in the 21 machine. Now Paul Schaefer Jr. is right there as well in the number seven machine. Oh, a little bomb by Rocha on Coughlin. They come out of turn number two. Now Schaefer looks to the inside. Three teenagers battling for third, fourth, and fifth. 19-year-old Cody Coughlin, 17-year-old Blaine Rocha, 18-year-old Paul Schaefer Jr. They've singled out, nose to tail again on the front stretch. Look back a few positions. Ali Kern, Terry Seneker. Seneker in the 36, started in 18. He looks like a hard charger candidate right now as he continues his move forward. Going for seventh is Terry Seneker Jr. in the 36, heading to turn three. The accomplished outlaw bodied super late model stars won just about every outlaw, outlaw super late model race in the country. Got has that Seneca performance prototype template bodied super late model car. Awfully strong. Seneca started in 18th. He is up to seventh now on the number 36 machine. The Wayland Michigan driver looks to the inside as Ali Kern on the high side. Rocha as we look forward for third on the inside of Cody Coughlin. The Jags number one of Cody Coughlin. The NTS Motorsports, Port City Race Cars, 21 of Rocha. Rocha's got him now, coming off of two. He's got the run he needed. He moves up to third. But again, if we get another yellow, he's going to be right where he was on the last restart. He could drop back to fourth or fifth again. So Rocha may be hoping at this point the race stays green. 48 laps completed, 52 laps to go. It is Brian Campbell, your race leader in the 47. Dominique Van Werigen, second spot in the five. Here at Co-Welding Fast Qualifier, the 21 of Blaine Rocha is third. The one, Cody Coughlin, is fourth. The seven of Paul Schaefer Jr. is fifth. You look back in the field, the 01, Jake, Jake Crum. Little telltale signs of smoke coming from that MyFreedomSmokes.com Chevrolet. That's coming from the right rear quarter panel. He went high coming off of four last time by. Closed the door on Dossie. Dossie was still there. Made slight contact with the right rear, and it pushed it into the right rear tire. We're coming in on halfway off of turn number four, the cross flags, and it's 50 laps in, 50 laps to go in the Edco Welding and Hydraulics 100 presented by Quartermaster. 50 in, 50 to go. Terry Seneca Jr. back in the field has fallen back as Grant Quinlan now to the inside of Seneca. That is 4 8. Hunter Bays back in the top 10, the number 13 machine. As Bays looking to work on Seneca for the ninth spot. Seneca worked his way all the way up to seven before falling back. Big group of cars coming down the front stretch toward the tail end of the lead lap. Led by Crum. 15 of Deucer, 33 of Cannon, not having nearly the success in the Super Series races he did in the Jags effort. He rides in line behind them, the eight. Riding there as well, Jordan Pruitt in the 20 of Dossie. Eddie Van Meter having a tough day in the 23 car. Has gone nowhere. Qualified badly and not running well here in the race. Has had a great season to this point. 53 laps completed this time by Brian Campbell. Continues to lead the 47. Dominic Van Werigen hanging around in second spot in the five. Blaine Rocha finally got away from Cody Coughlin and he has put a ton of ground between himself and Cody Coughlin is Coughlin trying to hold off Paul Schaefer Jr. Schaefer was giving him a good challenge a few laps ago, but right now Coughlin's put a few car links between the two. That is for the four spot. Schaefer running in fifth. Yurkovic in sixth. Kern in seventh. Quinlan in eighth. Seneca ninth. And Hunter Bay's running in tenth. That's a battle of five cars that might heat up shortly. Go back to the field. Mark Lambert is 11th in the 18. The 129 Spencer Davis is in 12th. The 01 Jay Crum, right rear tire rub and all in 13th spot. The 15 of Corey Deucer, 14th. And the 33 Jeff Cannon, as you mentioned, 15th spot in the 33 as Campbell about to approach the back of the pack, beginning with the three of West Griffith Jr. Should be easy for another 10 laps or so before he catches the big cluster of cars. 
Griffith in the three, which is the 33. Riding along the bottom lane. Going to allow Campbell to go around the outside. Campbell just kind of looks to be in cruise control, though the five of Van Weringen staying in striking distance. He knows how far she's back and how hard he needs to push his car. And he's raced here enough and won here. He knows how hard he can push it without hurting it for the late stages of the race, especially if we get a late yellow. Campbell has kept the lead to about a second ahead of the number five of Dominic Van Weringen. Now that Blaine Rocha has disposed of Cody Coughlin, he is setting his sights on the top two cars, beginning with the five of Van Weerigen. Campbell gets by Griffith. Now Van Weerigen to negotiate around as well as they work on lap 58 this time. And Rocha's not really made up a lot of ground in that top three battle. Thought that he might close the gap quickly, but those first two cars are pretty stout, turning pretty equal lap times, about the same amount of distance between the three. As is Campbell, Van Weringen, and Rocha, first, second, and third. Coughlin running fourth. Schaefer running fifth. Yurkovic sixth. Quinlan seventh. Running eighth is Kern, ninth, Seneca, and tenth is Hunter Bays. Just in front of your race leader, Brian Campbell is the number 29 of Tommy St. John. St. John qualifying 22nd quick. Has not been at full speed all weekend long in that Daz Truck and Auto Chevrolet. St. John, a former two time winner in the Arca CRA Super Series. Limited appearances. In 2015, now about to go a lap down to your race leader, Brian Campbell, with 60 laps in the books this time. St. John going to move over on the front straightaway, allow Campbell to go to the outside. Looked at first like he might try to fend him off, but he did not. Campbell able to clear him easily, and St. John goes back up into the outside lane. We'll see which way he goes when the five of Van Weeringen gets there, but we've got 40 to go. Going to make it 39 laps left at the line this time for the leader, Brian Campbell. Van Weerigen safely, well, right next to now, safely gets by Tommy St. John. Lead for Campbell, 1.3 seconds over the five of Dominique Van Weerigen. Van Weerigen with a 1.4 second advantage over the 21 of Blaine Rocha as the battle for fourth rages on between the number one of Cody Coughlin and the number seven of Paul Schaefer Jr. Coughlin riding around the top side, giving the inside lane to Schaefer. Schaefer's been unable to make it work so far. He's pulled down there a couple of times. Couldn't quite get there with 38 laps to go. Leader, middle of the back stretch. Closing on the tail end of the field with about a seven car pack in front of him. Back in the field, the second half of the top 10. The sixth spot is the 28 of Grant Quinlan. Seventh spot now, battle between the 53 of Boris Shurkovic, the 13 of Hunter Bays. Bays has made a couple of ARCA Racing Series starts here in 2015. Has Jeff Marvel from the Jordan Company on hand today with bicycle playing cards. Watching Hunter Bays in the 13. As he, just, he just watched Bays off the pace in the 13 as Allie Kern did all she could to avoid getting into the back end of the 13 of Bays. A little bit of contact, no harm done as they continue down the front stretch. Yurkovic leading that pack of four cars. A little bit of sunshine peeking through a mostly cloudy sky here this afternoon at Lucas Oil Raceway. And a couple of big green flag runs in this one. And Big green flag runs have not seemed to hurt Brian Campbell. I think he'd be satisfied if this thing went to the checkered without a yellow. 65 laps completed, 35 laps to go. He puts the number eight of Jordan Pruitt down a lap. Pruitt made his Arca CRA Super Series debut in this race one year ago. Was awfully strong in that race for losing a motor. Now Pruitt, unfortunately, going down a lap to the 47 of Brian Campbell as Pruitt running 19th on the racetrack. Terry Fisher Jr., winner of the first race this afternoon, the Boers Welding CRA Late Model Sportsman Lions Truck and Trailer 40 is off the pace in the Super Series event. Going to take his number 81 ride into the pits. Looks like might be the day for the LCK Trucking McGonagall Engine Performance Chevrolet of Terry Fisher Jr. 67 laps completed. Brian Campbell, your race leader. Eddie Van Meter, second place in the points coming into this weekend is the last car on the lead lap. Brian Campbell, a few car lengths back, working on lap number 68. Brian Campbell, races like this, especially with good starting position, tough 
anytime he shows up to a CRA race to bet money against him. And right now, a half straightaway lead over Van Weringen as it seems to be getting bigger and bigger as this long run wears on. And again, we don't think he's probably using it all up to do just that. He's able to maneuver traffic easily. Going to be 30 to go next time as it's going to eventually be down to the waning stages of this one. And he continues to click off the laps. Campbell already with three event wins this season. Scored the victories at his home checker of Berlin Raceway on May 16th. Before that, he picked up the win in the 7-Up 100 at Toledo Speedway on April 11th. Matter of fact, Campbell won the last race for the Arca CRA Super Series, the Bud St. Amant Memorial 125. Two weekends ago over at Columbus Motor Speedway, Campbell looking for win number four of the season, 18 of his career, as we mentioned, would move him into a three-way tie for third all time. He has caught the 20 car of Dossie. Dossie not giving a ton of room to the outside. Now opens it up, coming off of turn four. And down the straightaway as Campbell's going to get around the 20 car of Jack Dossie the third. Also has been able to pass the 23 of Van Meter, who's having a miserable day. Not the kind of run you expected to see Van Meter have here. And 28 to go at the line and just continuing to walk the dog is Brian Campbell. And back in the field, Paul Schaefer Jr. and Cody Coffin locking horns coming out of turn number two. They're side by side and they make their way through three and four. Coughlin trying to keep the momentum away from the seven car of Schaefer to not give up another spot. It's four, fourth. Schaefer has made a couple runs to the inside. No can do. We'll see if he steps up the intensity here on this next attempt because he is quicker than the one car of Cody Coughlin. 73 laps completed, 27 laps remaining. It is Brian Campbell, your leader in the 47. Dominic Van Weringen losing ground in the number five car. Van Weringen almost two and a half seconds back of your race leader, Campbell. But she does have about a second and a half advantage over your third place driver, Ed Coelty, fast qualifier, Blaine Rocha. Yeah, Rocha has been unable to close on Van Weering and did for a little while and now has dropped back. So not so sure the 21 car is handling like it was early in this race. After that, don't really see anybody that could even challenge a, a pretty good run today, though, for Grant Quinlan running sixth. Grant started in 16th, has picked up 10 spots. Quinlan in six, Hunter Bays in seventh and the 13. Allie Kern is eighth in the four. 36 to Terry Seneca Jr. is ninth. It's Boris Yurkovic has fallen to 10th and feeling some pressure now from the 18 of Mark Lambert. Yurkovic has had some great runs here at Lucas Oil Raceway today. Not one of those. 25 laps to go down to the final 25 circuits. Make it 24 there at the line for Brian Campbell. Campbell about to go by the 15 of Corey Deucer, who is 14th on the racetrack. Last car in the lead lap. Not anymore. Make it 13 cars left in the lead lap. Jeff Cannon in 13th. As we are 77 laps completed, Dominique Van Weeringen trying to get through the traffic that Campbell just left behind. Campbell continues to show the way in the 47 machines. The lap continue to wind down. Jordan Pruitt comes down pit road. Tough break for the Gaylord Michigan driver. As Pruitt on pit road, 78 laps completed, 22 laps to go. Down to the final 22 circuits and Campbell just continues to lay him down. Consistent laps for the 47. Watching him in the middle of three and four that time. Checking up. Maybe not as smooth as it once was. Still looking good though and not giving up a lot of ground to the number five car of Van Weeringen still over a half straightaway lead as Deucer drops off the pace in the 15 car. And a tough break for Corey Deucer making his second start for Brett Robinson's team as Ro as. Deucer makes his way down the backstretch pit road. Tough break for the 17 year old from Georgetown, Indiana. But we are four fifths of the way through the Ed Co. Welding and Hydraulics 100, presented by Quartermaster. 80 laps completed, 20 laps to go. It has been all Brian Campbell in the 47 car since lap 13. 
And Campbell works on lap 81. Go back in the field. Good battle brewing for fourth between Coughlin, Quinlan, and Schaefer. Fourth, fifth, and sixth. Off of turn number four. Quinlan on the inside lane. He's the mover right now. Up from his original starting position of 16th. Coughlin going down the banking, trying to take the momentum away from Quinlan. Really does it. Using a lot of track up as the Jags number one of Cody Coughlin. Quinlan has to check up because of that. That's going to allow Schaefer to go to the outside. We're going to have a three car battle, three wide battle in a moment. Coughlin gets a little free coming off of four. Eventually we'll see if the 28 car of Quinlan just says, you know what, you can't take my bottom lane away. I'm going to take you up the track. Then it could get a little bit hairy for that fourth spot. Just a note, drivers third through seventh, all 19 years old and under. The future of the Arca CRA Super Series looking awfully bright with Grant Quinlan. Co trying to clear Coughlin. Coughlin still working on that high side to keep the point. Quinlan up to fourth, sh trying to shuffle Coughlin to fifth. Paul Schaefer Jr. watching that battle, trying to figure out which way to go. Quinlan, your overall and Seneca performance rookie of the year points leader. She's going to try to clear him coming out of four. Quinlan so close to clearing the one car of Coughlin has not been able to do so yet. And Quinlan actually giving up a lot of room by not running his car a little higher. But that inside lane worked out OK. He does clear the number one of Cody Coughlin. And that time we have 15 laps to go. And now Coughlin all of a sudden going to challenge Quinlan again, but has to check up coming out of four. Coughlin got a little sideways and that stopped his momentum. That allows Paul Schaefer Jr. to go to the inside. The number seven machine. Schaefer trying again in the back in the top five. Shuffling Coughlin to six. Hunter Bays is right there as well. The number 13 watching the Schaefer and Coughlin battle. But in the meantime, up front, Brian Campbell still leads 1.6 seconds ahead of Dominic Van Wergen. Blaine Roach is third. Top three cars clear track ahead of him. All by themselves. Van Wieringen is closing that gap down a little bit. How hard is Campbell running his car at this point? Van Wieringen, I'm sure, is giving it everything she can. And she has closed the gap. Like I mentioned about 10 laps ago, it just doesn't look like Campbell's car is as smooth through the middle of the corners as it once was as Boris Jerkovic drops off the pace. And his tough day comes to an early end as he goes down pit road. 12 to go for Brian Campbell. 88 laps in the books that time by Brian Campbell as we mentioned searching for win number four the 2015 season 18th of his career has Campbell keeping a safe piece of real estate between himself and the second place driver the number five of Dominique Van Wieringen 11 to go for Campbell the Enterprise iron and metal Merritt Speedway, number 47, looking for his fourth win of the year. Brian Campbell, this time we'll get 10 to go. Halfway down the back stretch, now Campbell into three. Leads somewhat stabilizing now, still in good shape. If he doesn't drop off the pace, he's going to be in good shape. 10 laps to go for Brian Campbell, but this a big track, and you can make up a lot of ground in a hurry with one bobble. Campbell's lead from the last lap from 1.6 to 1.4 seconds. So Dominic Van Wergen trying all she can to try to at least catch that 47 of Brian Campbell. Nine laps to go this time. We'll see what the differential is. It was 1.4 the last lap. This time stays at a 1.4. He just needs a few laps to stabilize it like that and he'll be in good shape. Van Wieringen giving it all she can. Former winner of a race right here at Lucas Oil Raceway. Very strong here. Also runs well at Winchester. Eight laps to go for Campbell. Van Wieringen, Rocha. Turning a lot of heads this weekend. The top qualifier in the 21. Running in fifth a long way back, but still a good run nonetheless. Running in fourth, the 28 car of Quinlan. And Coughlin hanging on to fifth, but Hunter Bays is about to take that spot away. Hunter Bays got by Paul Schaefer Jr. for the sixth spot. Now he's looking to challenge Cody Coughlin. The crack the top five. Hunter Bays starting at 13th. 
As we look to the inside of Coughlin, Schaefer right there as well. So is Terry Seneca Jr. in the number 36 machine. Seneca started in 18th. He is up to eighth. This has been a long green flag run, Matt. When did we go back to a restart? Lap 33, back to the restart. And they've completed the last 61 without a caution. A long run for these competitors on this big Lucas Oil Raceway, one of the longest tracks they compete on. And Brian Campbell entering turn three has been able to get around Tommy St. John, put him another lap down and five laps to go this time. Five to go signal given. 95 complete for Brian Campbell. And he continues to lead by a comfortable margin over Dominic Van Wieringen. Tommy St. John goes down one more lap. The number 29 machine distantly ahead of Campbell is the number 33 of Jeff Cannon, who is in 12th position. Cannon, the last car on the lead lap. Four laps to go for Campbell. Campbell, clear track ahead, but might catch the 33 of Cannon, the 129 of Davis before the end of this one. Most likely will. 18 of Lambert, who's running in 10th, up ahead as well. Three to go for Brian Campbell. And uncomfortably close right now, the 33 of Cannon and the 129 of Davis. Last thing that Campbell wants to see happen is those two get together, cause a late race caution. But I think Cannon wants to get around Davis and get up in 11. And Campbell doesn't want to back off too much as Dominic Van Wergen is actually closing the gap a bit. At least trying to with two laps remaining. The lead last lap was 1.6. has dropped to 1.4. But two laps remaining, making a lap and a half. Cannon and Davis just ahead of your race leader, Campbell. So Campbell will see the white flag this time by. White flag is in the air one to go for the enterprise iron and metal merit speedway number 47 of brian campbell he's woded down the last few laps i think to avoid what may happen in front of him if they continue to dice like they are the 33 of cannon and the 129 of spencer davis as campbell enters three into turn three on a turn number four checkered flag in hand for the fourth time this season 18th time of his career brian campbell your winner of the arca series super series Dominic Van Wergen, career high second. Blaine Ro Rocha, third in his debut. We'll go all the way back to Grant Quinlan, your overall and rookie points leader in fourth. Cody Coughlin rounds up the top five. Finishing in the sixth spot, Hunter Bays taking seventh. Paul Schaefer, Jr., eighth spot to Terry Seneker, Jr. Finishing ninth, the four of Ali Kern. And rounding out the top ten, the 18 car of Mark Lambert, 11th. The 129 of Davis and 12th, the 33 of Cannon, our final two cars on the lead lap. We do have one more race on the schedule today. The Stealth Trailers, CRA Street Stocks, and the PBM Urson Cams, 40. The Street Stocks are next. But first, post-race ceremonies for our top five competitors pulling to the front straight away. Brian Campbell, fourth win of the season, one of the all-time win leaders with CRA and Every time he shows up, you know he's going to be a challenger, a big-time threat. Today he had the good starting position. He qualified yesterday in fifth, which gave him the outside of row number one. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for Brian Campbell today. As from start to finish, he controlled the pace and gets into victory lane once again. His third win in Super Series competition at Lucas Oil Raceway, which ties Brian Ross, Junior Hanley, and Scott Hans as the all-time win leaders with the series at this speedway.